everyone, welcome to a godly home. This is my week one $25 challenge at Dollar General on food storage items. And this challenge was started by Linda's Prepper Kitchen. And so far, I know that Susan's Ramblings has joined and Cozy Cottage Homestead has joined. And I heard about it through Cozy Cottage Homestead out of Louisiana. And I will have all of these channels in my description box along with links to their week one videos. And I hope you will check that out. And if you're new to food storage, keep in mind that if you can't come up with $25 a week, maybe you could mix and match from these different videos and maybe do $25 a month, but at least it would give you a chance to get started because it is very important to get started. My husband called me from work a couple of weeks ago and he said he heard on the radio that one out of five families right now are hungry because the cost of everything has gone up. They're paying more to travel back and forth to work, their electricity, their heating costs this winter are gonna be more, clothing is more, everything is more, and that one out of five families is hungry. So it's very important when we're doing the food storage that we think about what is usable, what our family likes to eat, what is the best possible price we can get on it, and um, think about how we can work it together into meals. And hopefully, as we do this series, all of us can be working to show you those sorts of things as well. So let's get started. I am a firm believer in the fact that when I'm prepping, I want it to be things that I know that I'm going to use well before the expiration date. And I'm just kind of working from my prepper food storage all the time. It's like I'm buying, using, buying, using, and I'm keeping watch of it, and I'm getting what I'm getting low on. And of course, some of the stuff that I'm getting low on now is stuff for the holiday cooking and stuff like that. So this is what I picked up. I picked up a jug of the Clover Valley brand vegetable oil. And this is actually the cheapest place to buy vegetable oil in my area. And that was $3.30. Then they had the cranberry sauce. And of course, we're having Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. I know I'm going to need at least two of these for Thanksgiving, but depending on how many guests we have. So I went ahead and I grabbed two of the cranberry sauce. These were $1.95 and I got two of them. So that was $3.90. And so I at least know I have that when the holidays come. Then taking the same way, I picked up four pounds of sugar. Now I do my cooking from scratch and I am baking from scratch all the time. So I will definitely be using up a lot of sugar more during the holidays. That will keep perfectly in food storage. I put it into a tote just to keep the mice and stuff out. Clover Valley Oh, let's back up. What was the cost of that sugar? Um, the sugar was $2.95. Okay, Clover Valley mashed potatoes. This is a nine ounce box. I'm not a super fan of instant mashed potatoes, but they're shelf stable and they are fantastic for casseroles and any sort of a time that you're running low on things. Um, once again, I would put those in the tote to keep the mice out. Pecans, one cup of pecans. 
Okay, the instant mashed potatoes were $1.95. Sorry about that. Okay, the pecans are $3.65 for one cup. They can be used for holiday baking. They can be used in a recipe that I'm going to show on my channel, hopefully this week. They can be used like in a chicken salad sandwich. I like them in stir fries. They can be used in all kinds of stuff. And they were $3.65. Then the French fried onions. Okay, this is a six ounce bag. $2.25. Of course, everybody knows during the holidays on green bean casserole. Um, it's also wonderful to roll chicken in this and bake it. This is great on top of any casserole. It's good on top of salads. Um, sprinkle it on top of a soup. Lots of ideas for that. And that was $2.25. Then pepperoni. I don't know how many people realize this, but it actually says on the package of pepperoni, refrigerate after opening. So this is shelf stable, and there's so many things you can do with pepperoni. Obviously, like homemade pizza, sub sandwiches, just crackers, cheese, and some pepperoni on the side. All kinds of ideas for pepperoni. I grabbed two of the pepperoni, and those were $2 each. And then my final item was two pounds of great northern beans, and this was $3. And I like getting a variety of beans. And the Great Northern are fantastic because you can make baked beans out of them. Plus, you can use them in soups or anything else you need them for. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Um, we will be doing this over six weeks. So there is going to be a big variety of videos on this topic for you guys to watch. And I hope you really have enjoyed this. And if you have, please thumb it up and please subscribe. I am trying to build the channel and I will see you very soon. Bye.